It's man of Allah to make dua for you. The Messenger of Allah is making dua for every one of us that God forgive us. We commit sins, we transgress, all our actions are reported to him, displayed before him. And there is a sound hadith about this. Hayati khayrun lakum, tuhdithuna wa yuhdathu lakum. Faitha ana mittu kanat wafati khayran lakum. تعرض علي أعمالكم فإن وجدت خيرا حمدت الله وإن وجدت غير ذلك استغفرت لكم My life is good for you You do things and I provide solutions or answers My death is also good for you All your actions are displayed in front of me When I see good I praise Allah When I see other things then I make dua for you can you believe it? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is sitting making dua for you while you're heedless because of the reports. People understand and should understand now how the works of all humanity could be shown or displayed to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Science brought many miracles now. And the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are beyond science. And what we don't know is far beyond what we know or the little all the drop that we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْرُوحِ قُلِ الْرُوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي وَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا They ask you about the spirit. Say the spirit is a matter that belongs to my God. You have not been given of knowledge but a little drop. Furthermore, we say, اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Prayers and blessings be upon the Messenger of Allah. This is actually a divine command in the Quran al -Kareem. After Allah told us, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Allah and his angels send prayers upon the Prophet. Allah says, commanding us, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. All ye who believe, pray upon him. A lot of prayers and send a lot of salam upon him. So one of the most beautiful ways of coming closer to Allah is praising the Prophet and praying upon him. It brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It gives you the job of the angels. The angels are busy praising Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. You take their job and you praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. It's one of the best indirect way of achieving the character of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Because reading about his character, about his truthfulness, about his uh, uh, tolerance, about his uh, brave, uh, bravery, about uh, all of his beautiful character sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, beautiful traits, uh, makes us yearn to embrace his beautiful traits and virtues. The best way is making a lot of mention of him. Found hadith, a statement. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam explained to us that all your prayers are displayed to me. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam emphasized on Friday as being a special day because it is the feast of all Muslims. On Friday, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam hears the prayers we send upon him by his own ears. And he answers by his own tongue. إِنَّ عِنْدَ رَأْسِي مَلَكًا يُبَلِّغُونِ الصَّلَاةَ عَلَيَّ مِنْ أُمَّتِي إِلَّا يَوْمَ الْجُمُعَةِ فَإِنِّي أَسْمَعُ بِأُذُنِي وَأَرُدُّ بِلِسَانِي There is an angel at my head, Allah has signed, an angel at my head that conveys to me the prayers my ummah send upon me or to me. Except on Fridays, I hear with my own ears and I answer with my own tongue. The Sahaba wondered. They were not stupid. They laid down this question. How would you answer, hear and answer, when you have decayed? قَالُوا كَيْفَ تَسْمَعُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَقَدْ أَرِمْتْ Because 
We understand the natural law, they say between brackets, the natural law, we don't have natural laws, we have divine laws. Anyway, the natural laws between brackets, people are buried, people decay. After 10 years, you won't find anything but just a small collection of bones. So how would you hear, how would you answer? He said, Allah made it forbidden for the earth to decay the flesh of prophets. This is something specific, not specific to our beloved prophet, our messenger, the seed of all messengers. This is something that is general to all prophets. All messengers Allah sent, Allah saved their bodies from uh, being decayed or from being eaten by worms in the soil. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is alive. And this is the belief of all Muslims. And you'll be surprised even Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Qayyim al jawziyyah two controversial scholars for example, who disagreed on some issues, on some relationships or aspects of our relationship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, never disagreed on this principle. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is alive in his grave.